Hi, Diddly Ho, it's Brett Stone. Today I wanted to uh, do three things. I was going to show off an oddball card or items, um, show the last item that I acquired in 2020, and then uh, a card that I sort of made or remade. Um, so we'll get right into that. Um, but before we do, I, I had uh, been watching some other YouTube videos of other YouTubers who are starting to make their 2021 um, collecting goals. I plan to do that and make out a an actual list of things that I want to collect in the coming year. Um, I think it's going to be include vintage items and then focus on um, my PC um, a little bit better and getting quality items rather than quantity of items. Um, so the first card I wanted to show was this oddball item that I ran across um, in my collection. And it is a showbiz of a Harlem Gold Trotter. You can see it's like a miniature card and it came through Miracle Whip in 2000. Um, and because I found this card, I pulled out, I had a old program from when we went in 2006 and saw the Globe Trotters. Um, thought it was kind of interesting. Here's Showbiz, one of the guys. The guy he's also highlighted on the card. Here's a poster. We got some of the autographs after the game. That's the center of the program. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I um, wanted to show that off quickly. And then now to the last item that I purchased. Um, well, actually, I, I, I bought it on eBay and my son is paying for it. Um, he bought it for me for Christmas. And it is an 83 All-Star rookie card. Well, it's cut from the All-Star program in 1983. So, Ryan Sandberg. Felt like it was cut out very well. Um, because they cut it well on the front, the back is a little bit off, but the front is well centered the way that they cut it. Straight lines, good corners. So, really like that item. <clears throat> um, and then lastly, I wanted to talk about a card that I, sh I made. This is one that I made back and is in one of my videos from the past, you can see I took a 1990 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. and punched a hole in it, put one of the stickers for the Mariners there in the background, and also put a hole up here and put in uh, part of the, well, it's a foil pack actually from the 90 Upper Deck, and then glued it to another for the backing so um, there's that card but the one I wanted to show off and talk about today is actually this card so this card um, I, I was sort of inspired to make this I had seen on Facebook page that I'm part of for Bo Jackson some cards made and um, this one uh, I had recently pulled out of a pack that I got from uh, Baseball Card Illustrated, and I showed it in my one of my last videos um, as I pulled it. Um, but what I wanted to show about this card is his stats, his batting average was only 250 average over these first few years in his career. Um, but in 1989, he started um, started off really poorly. Um, 
and below 200. And uh, some of the fans made this thing called a Shawnometer. And um, although he was a great shortstop and had a great arm, obviously he struggled at the plate some. Um, he was with the, with the Cubs from 1985 through 95 and then left for a year and came back in 97. Um, for the Cubs, he pitched um, or hit 267. So as he would um, increase his batting average over the year, and then in, actually into the future years, um, they had kept this Shano meter and showed it during the games. And um, the fans would show it and then Harry Carey would talk about it in, in each broadcast and um, it's kind of a fun thing to do. Actually, uh, in 89, Rick Sutcliffe had given Sean Dunstan a um, signed baseball, signed by the whole team when he got above 200. So that was kind of interesting. But back to this card. Um, so what I did is I took a couple of my 89 Sean Dunstan's tops and I cut one out at the top here and placed behind it a wax pack from the 1989 pack that I got um, and just opened and then placed one on the back so you can see I put in between it one of those spacer cards that um, you get in or you got in wax packs um, so that people couldn't search for the for the fatter packs and get jersey cards but so that sort of raises that up so just wanted to show that card off um, and mention you know, the Shano meter. Um, and, you know, there's a copy of one of these in the Baseball Hall of Fame. The Shano meter, that is. If you want to go look for videos, you could probably find um, something on YouTube about that. But interesting fact, and to me, a cool card that I made. So, Appreciate you watching. I hope everybody has a great 2001 and take care and God bless.